Hi, Eric with Southeastern Rider Magazine, or should I say North American Rider Magazine. With the June issue of this year, we have changed our name from Southeastern Rider to North American Rider. And that's primarily in response to the fact that we now have a following all over the country and not just the Southeastern United States. We started out about four and a half years ago and with the encouragement of several folks uh, if, asking if we wouldn't please start a magazine that kind of more or less dealt with touring articles and that would cover more than just one state and that it would cover a region. So four and a half years ago we started Southeastern Rider Magazine. But being an electronic edition it spread and it, pretty soon we had a following in several of the 50 states. We had a following in Canada, we had a following in the UK and some of the other countries in Europe. And uh, I started getting people responding and saying, hey, we'd like to write for you or we'd like to read about articles uh, and rides uh, pertaining to our area, but we're not in the southeastern United States. We're in Washington State or we're in New York State or we're in Ontario, Canada. So uh, after a lot of pondering and um, recommendations from uh, salespeople that we've hired and uh, um, some authors and stuff, we decided that we no longer were just a southeastern regional magazine, but that we had a following uh, in all 50 states in Canada and that we needed to change our name to be representative and inclusive of those people. So as of June 2019, we have changed our name to North American Rider. So speaking to that, uh, I wanna try and make this, this uh, video real quick, and I'm not good at making quick videos, so please forgive me if this goes a little bit long, or if it sounds like I'm rushing to trying to get through because I'm trying to keep it in a as close to five minutes as I can. Um, I just want to say that with the um, 2000 and or with the June 2019 issue, um, we not only have changed our name, but we've added a couple new advertisers in there, and uh, I'm excited about uh, one in particular, and that advertiser is the County of Smythe or Smith. It's spelled M S M Y T H, uh, Virginia and the township of Withville, Virginia, as they come together and bringing two Chamber of Commerces together and working together is almost unheard of. Um, and we just uh, uh, have managed to pull it together and they've, they've come together to advertise in the magazine promoting motorcycle riding in southeastern Virginia. And if you've never been to the area and ridden, uh, you're missing out on a lot. Uh, my wife and I have uh, frequented the area on several occasions and uh, we've even carried our horses up there and done horseback riding up there in the, uh, in the state park, mountain uh, park up there. And uh, while my wife was horseback riding, I actually rented a bicycle and rode the Virginia Creeper Trail up there. Uh, real nice area. I'd encourage you to take a look at their ad as they advertise for the region and the area up there and um, would consider going up and giving them a visit. Uh, one of the uh, most notable rides that you can take up in that area is the Back of the Dragon. Now I know you've all heard of the Tale of the Dragon. This is the Back of the Dragon. It's I believe 32 miles and uh, I forget how many twists and turns, but it's a lot more than what's on the tail of the dragon. So worth checking out. Check out their ad in this month's issue of North American Rider and then uh, go on their website and look and see what they've got to offer. Our second advertiser that's in this month's magazine, you will find an article that I wrote about uh, my wife's Can-Am Spider. And, uh, you know, uh, this last year she had to give up uh, riding two wheels because of health issues. And so we got her a Can-Am so that she could continue to ride. She loves it. But uh, she wound up driver's backrest. So I searched and searched and searched and was unable to successfully find um, a driver backrest for her. 
so I started searching all the uh, Facebook groups and everything. Finally, somebody responded to a request that I had put out there and said, Hey, this guy by the name of Jim owns a company called Smooth Spider, and he's located in Homestead, Florida, and he makes a driver's backrest. So I contacted him, and Jim um, and I talked, and, and bottom line is we've got the driver passenger backrest that he manufactures and I did an article on it in the magazine and embedded in the article is a video that he does on the installation of it. The very unique thing about this driver backrest is it's not just the driver's backrest. It also serves as a passenger backrest and anything in between. It adjusts forward and backwards and up and down so that you can uh, uh, adjust it to any setting uh, if you need it to come further forward or further backward, uh, no problem. It's, it's all fully adjustable. So um, I'd encourage you to look at his ad, read the article, watch his video, and then visit him at smoothspider.com. Those are our two advertisers this month that we're excited about. A lot of uh, new articles. There's an article in there that um, an author from Canada has written about a ride throughout New York State. We're excited about that. We're excited about the fact that we've picked up uh, Susan Hurst, not only as an author that she has been for uh, the last four, four years for us, and a representative of Leather and Lace Motorcycle Club, but she also comes on as a sales rep for the New York State and Pennsylvania area for us, as well as Florida. So um, we would encourage you to uh, uh, get excited as we have new articles, new advertisers coming in from around the country. Speaking of which, if you'd be interested, we're looking for articles from all over about your rides through any part of the country, um, uh, any groups that you might belong to in, around the country, um, just anything to do with motorcycles that are in areas outside of the southeastern United States. We'd like to include them in the magazine. The other thing is I am looking for salespeople uh, in the areas outside of New York, Pennsylvania, uh, Georgia, Florida. Uh, so we, we need um, salespeople in Texas. I need them in Washington. I need them in Ohio. I need them in Illinois. I need them all around the country and Canada. So if you'd be interested, we do pay a very lucrative commission basis, um, probably one of the highest in the industry. And so if you would be interested in becoming a sales rep for North American Rider Magazine, please email me at eric at northamericanrider.com. And I'll get back to you. I'll, I'll share with you the commission structure. And uh, hopefully it's something that you'd be interested in and in serving with us on our editorial team. So um, that's about it. I've already gone past my five minute mark, but uh, I just wanna say, as always, ride safe and ride often. Until the next time we meet, this is Eric with North American Rider Magazine saying have a great day and God bless.